Now we talk about the sequence submissions. Uh, sequences are submitted to the databases uh, in order to share them with the scientific community. Uh, sometimes they are also required by the funding and the publication ag agencies to submit them. Um, it is important to ensure that the sequences uh, files, they do not contain any special characters because sometimes uh, some control characters, they can also be um, incorporated into our normal sequences and which uh, sometimes mess up the downstream analysis. So there is an issue of uh, how to put the ambiguous uh, nucleotides or amino acids in the sequences. Uh, so some places you are not sure whether it is A or C or T or G, but you are restricted to put just one single letter. So there is an organization, International Union of Biochemistry, uh, that is abbreviated as IUB. It has established some standard codes to represent those uh, ambiguous bases or amino acids. For example, here we see obviously G, A, T and C are just guanine, adenine, thymine and cytosines. If we see R, that means it can be either A or G. Obviously, the word is derived from the group from which it is, they are coming from, that is the purines. We see Y, um, that is a pyrimidine. It can be either C or T. M stands for if they are having any amine group in them, amino group in them. Uh, K is if they have keto group, that is G or T. S is if they have strong interactions, three, triple, uh, three bonds, uh, we can call them triple bonds. Uh, C or G, they form triple bonds. So S is at this position, we can see either C or G. W is for weak interactions, A or T. H, uh, since it follows G, so it's everything except G, that it can be A, C or T, and same is similar procedure is followed down below for B, V, N, D. N can be any base. Same way for amino acids, uh, we have unilateral codes from A to Z, though there are some letters that are missing, and there are uh, some amino acids, uh, like for example, there are four amino acids that are starting with G, so we gave that G letter to glycine. For rest of them, we might use some other letters like glutamic acid is represented as E. Y stands for tyrosine down below, and X can be any amino acid, like N in the nucleotide sequences. NCBI has uh, two options uh, for sequence submissions. Uh, if the sequences are simple and uh, they are not much to be related with some downstream analysis, uh, we can simply submit them uh, through option called as Bankit. And uh, if our data sets are small, uh, we can also use this tool so uh, we can transfer the data set over the, over the internet. A uh, sequin is uh, for the submission of complex data sets, um, complex sequences and annotations. And uh, it is also good if we want to do some offline submissions, normally where we have our data sets, which are huge ones. Um, and obviously uh, that uh, data set may be um, used in future with some analysis tools and softwares. So here is the uh, web pages uh, just showing the glances of Bankate, Bankate and Sequin. Same way uh, for the protein sequences, just like uh, NCBI tools, uh, we have Uniprot. Um, similar tool is called as SPIN. So that can take the protein sequences and it can also take the annotations uh, which are recorded into its knowledge base. Here is the page for SPIN. We can register here and then we can submit our data. So what we have seen here in this section is that sequences, uh, they are stored in specific format. And uh, if we want to submit our sequences, we need to follow the guidelines provided by those databases.